Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Brian coming to you with the fourth Blur Broadcast video. We review and discuss everything from comic books to animated movies to video games to sci-fi and all of nerd culture. Today, it's going to be a video game review because two games just came out that I'm currently playing right now. Uh, NBA 2K21 and Marvel's Avengers. Uh, both of them came out the same day, even though I paid to get Avengers a little early just so I could get a little play time before 2K came out. But uh, uh, both of them are still, they're both solid. I really enjoy them. Uh, I'm going to start with NBA 2K. Um, so I remember when the beta came out, uh, there were already people crying about how the game was terrible. And it was just the beta or it was just the the, uh, the little pro-am or whatever it was, the um, the uh, whatever, the prelude or whatever it was. And uh, people were already crying over the prelude, talking about how the game was trash. Uh, and they didn't even play the actual game yet. So I thought that was kind of crazy because I'm like, hey, man, just wait till the game comes out for you for you to, like, you know, make your decision or whatever. Um, overall, you know, like the storyline seemed kind of interesting. You know, I mean, I to be if I'm being completely real, I kind of like breeze through it real quick because trying to get to the park and like nobody really, really, really loves the story mode. Like, who cares? Who really gives a fuck about the story mode? So there's that. Uh, and uh, other than that, uh, the shooting, ooh, ooh, the shooting, the shooting, shooting's kind of a curve, you know what I mean? Like, because, I mean, I'm not the GOAT or anything like that, but the, shooting's, the, 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 the shooting is going to throw you off a little bit, you know what I mean? It's going to make everybody have to relearn shooting again. Like, right now, I go into the park. And it's nothing but dunks and layups and people clogging the paint all day and everybody's up in there. So shooting is if you can, if you can get the shooting down, you're going to be like the goat for a minute until anybody really, really gets their their shit together. Um, and uh, the park looks cool. You know what I mean? Like, it's nice. They took it back to the little beach, you know, sunset beach style kind of sort of. Or whatever the neighborhood you can cruise to the neighborhood it looks all like you know kind of clean i like how they had the the little twos cord off to the side and stuff like that that was kind of legit uh so uh i don't know it's you know the aesthetic the aesthetic looks kind of nice so i respect it you know I, again like i said i'm playing whatever so or i'm I'm a, I'm a 2k fan so i'm i'm gonna play it regardless so people talk about how it's trash only thing i don't like is you know how it's kind of blown up and it's kind of gone it got a little way away from like simulation basketball which is what it used to be because like everybody started becoming a youtuber and then it got you know then 2k was on like e-games and blew up on like e-gaming and stuff like that or esports and stuff like that so then it kind of got crazy and then you know then the cheesers started getting crazy they started putting crazy animations in the game and then it was just like a cheese fest, you know, and then like talking like cheese, cheese, like, ooh. anyway, it was wild. Um, but 2K is pretty solid. I mean, if you like sports games, if you like basketball, you know what I'm saying? I definitely recommend it. You know what I'm saying? You should fuck with it. I'm going to fuck with it because I always fuck with it. That's just what I do. It's a game that's always on my list every time a game releases. It is what it is. Um, Marvel's Avengers. Uh... That game, actually, when well, when the beta came out for that, for starters, everybody was talking crazy. I was like, I almost, for a second, I almost didn't want to get the game because, you know, you see a whole bunch of reviews and everybody's like, oh, this game sucks. And they had all kind of complaints. And they were talking about how all the play, all the characters seem the same and stuff like that. And I'm like, they don't. When you play Iron Man and then you play the Hulk, you play two different ways. That's just how you, that's how that works. If you are playing the same way, then you are not playing on hard and you're trash. But, um, yeah, everybody said it was, the only, those were the complaints that I, that I saw or heard or whatever on the videos before when the beta came out. Was people said, oh, the characters are kind of the same and stuff like that. But they're really not. They're really not. The game's really, it's really, really solid. Um, the only thing that, the, I do have some takeaways, though. I, like I said, I'm a Marvel fan. I'm a Marvel head. It's a cool adventure game. I love it. And I'm looking forward to it. I don't, by, the, by the way, I haven't really dug. I haven't really gotten too far into the game. I really only got to, like, Iron Man. So 
you know what I mean? Or uh, when you get to, I don't know, I'm not trying to give, I'm not trying to give too many spoilers. So if this is, if there are, if, you, if there's anybody who's trying to get on the storyline and doesn't want to hear all this shit, like, okay, eventually you run across Hank Pym. Okay. Um, and that is the part where I'm at. I'm at the anthill. So, I mean, I'm not too far into the game, you know, but I'm not, you know, anyway, but I didn't just, just start. So, uh, the only thing I kind of that kind of killed me a little bit was that the the whole game isn't multiplayer. It's not it's not co op for the whole entire game unless after you get another character, maybe after you get four characters, every mission can be four uh, can be multiplayer. But a lot of the a lot of the game you have to do kind of solo, or I don't know if maybe if that's the beginning stages when you're like you have to be Kamala Khan or you have to be Tony Stark in these specific uh, or you have to be the Hulk in these specific missions. I don't know. That's a possibility, but um, if if that's not the case, and you know what I'm saying, you maybe you can comment in the comment section or whatever the case is and let me know. But uh, again, the beginning of the stages, there were you know episode or there were uh, missions where I'm just Kamala Khan, there were missions where I'm just the Hulk, or missions where I'm just Iron Man or whatever. And I thought the game would be multiplayer the whole way through, so you could kind of game with your friends and stuff like that. But so far, it's been kind of hit or miss, or there are some missions that are single player game single player missions um and then the only takeaways that i kind of have is uh iron man's flight is when you're flying as iron man and at the beginning when you're doing it on the bridge they show you kind of like chasing down some uh individuals that also have flight so it turns kind of like like a foes like flight sim kind of sort of and i feel like that takes away I, there's not too many situations where you can be iron man and chase somebody down like that where you have to use flight or it's ideal for somebody to be flying in order to be able to do this thing or whatever i think it, that's the only thing that kind of takes away because i think everybody else should be everybody should be able to do that thing like the hulk should be you know doing his thing but then there should be a situation where iron man just needs to be able to fly really fast and the person who is iron man needs to go take care of that thing because it's supposed to be like a team effort and the whole nine so um that's kind of a minus but not too much because the game like i said the game is still awesome um and then there was uh there was a scene in the beginning in the beginning a part of the game where uh miss marvel kind of really threw me off kind of kind of killed it for me just a little bit uh I remember she's talking to Bruce Banner and she they just get into the um the helicarrier, they find the helicarrier, and then she says something like, Oh, I don't I'm tired of being a freak or something like that, or or I'm tired of looking like a freak or being a freak, or I'm a freak and blah blah blah. And it was ridiculous because I'm like, dude, you're an inhuman. You look like a typical, a normal, young Middle East Middle Eastern girl. You're an inhuman. You, the, what's it called? The uh, the fog that 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 uh, that hits inhumans and turns them into inhumans. Most fools don't really get that 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 uh, uh, be able to come out looking normal. Like what's it, like Triton looks like Savage Dragon. This dude looks like he's doomed. He's doomed to live under the sea forever. And what's the dude like? What's the dude name? Gorgon? I think it's Gorgon or something. And that dude literally has horse hooves. Like he can never you like Kamala Khan can literally wear regular Converse. Gorgon can't get regular shoes. He just can't. He can't have regular shoes. The dude's deformed. The dude is whatever he is. Most cats that get hit with the with the uh, what is it called? I don't even know what it's called. Like the Terra, the Terra something gas or whatever that they get hit with. Um. Most people come out looking like freaks. So I feel like she should kind of be like, oh, yeah, you know what? I'm really grateful that uh, I kind of I'm look I look a, I know look normal on the outside and stuff. You know, I mean, I know I'm a little different, but blah, blah, blah. but that, that was kind of crazy. And she told that to Bruce Banner, who turns into the Hulk. And she's over here talking about looking like a freak. This dude turns into like a freaking nine foot monster or something crazy. And people were terrified of this dude. Like and, and then not to mention that like mystique and nightcrawler those dudes like that fool has a devil's tail he's got like fan or i don't even know he's blue skin or whatever he can't just roll up to a grocery store and just get gum 
or something crazy. That that was kind of wild. That was that scene kind of threw me off a little bit. And then um, and then also like playing the game, I I kind of I saw how they dropped the ball in the comic books of these new heroes, stuff like they could have made and they could have made a really really good new Avengers with like. Kamala Khan. Well, they kind of did with champions, but you know, they could have threw you. Okay. Of course, totally awesome. Hulk Kamala Khan. Um, they had Nova. They could have put like Riri Williams in there. They had miles Morales. They had, um, like whatever Vivian, uh, Viz, whatever visions daughter or something crazy. They could have done that a whole lot better if they did something like this, like the Marvel's Avengers game where they made them look up to the Avengers where, they're trying to be like the Avengers, but they're like a little different or like that little scene in the beginning of um, uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, um, Civil War, the first one the, in the comic book event where the new warriors are like a, they're a, um, a reality TV show and the reality TV camera guys follow them around so they can like fight with super villains and stuff like that. It'd be that would be they really they kind of missed the mark on making these new heroes amazing. They really could have made them amazing. And then after playing this game and they make Kamala Khan look up to the Avengers and they think they're super cool and she's over, she's at a day and she's wowed at the fact that she gets to meet Thor and stuff like that. They could have really made the comic book characters a hundred times more amazing because this story works. Like it really does work. You know what I mean? And she just goes on and you play through Kamala Khan by trying to like reconnect the Avengers and stuff like that. And it's an awesome story. I'm not even a huge Miss Marvel fan. And I think the story's dope. So, um, so that's my take on it. That's my take on both games. Um, stay tuned for future reviews. Next time, I'm probably going to go a little more in depth, but uh, make sure you hit the like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. All that fair stuff. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Later.